Hi everyone, I'm Mike Lewis and in today's video we're gonna recreate a famous poster from first Jaws movie, which was released in... let me check it... 1975, so long long time ago. This is my interpretation, my take, I hope you will like it. So without further talking, let's go straight to the Photoshop and do some magic. Ok, you can see the first thing, I imported the original poster and I'm gonna use this as a reference point. I've got this cool picture of a water, but I need to delay a few things from it. So I'm gonna use selection tool and amazing tool from Photoshop which is content aware fill and with this way I can delay things from photos. So in this example the legs and then the boats in the background and also the head of this boy. And then I extend a bit the bottom part of the water, something like this. And in this version, in this remake of this uh, poster, I'm gonna have a girl a bit underwater, not on the water like it was in the original version. So I found this nice picture of a girl and I'm gonna use it. I use selection brush to make a selection and then when I'm happy with selection, I add a few adjustment layers to match the colors with my ocean. So you can see I add hue saturation, color balance, and I just tweak some values. Then to add some more details, I import a few underwater photos and I blend it with our ocean. I put them on the screen, blending mode, and I tweak contrast a bit. Then to make a bit more details, I add some bubbles around the head of this gear. And I want also to add a light which is coming from the top, so I just found this picture of a light and I just want to blend it a bit with our, with our ocean. So I tweak it a bit. And then it was really really hard to find a nice picture of a shark which could fit our poster. So I found this picture and I thought I'm gonna use it but I need to change a few things. So you can see that I'm extracting only the head and then I'm just deleting the right side and duplicate the left side to the other side. And in this way I can create a new perspective for this shark to match our original poster. I fix a few things. I also use spot healing brush to make sure that this line of a cat is not visible at the center. And I use transform tool to change a bit shape of the head. And I put some adjustment layers to blend the shark a bit more with our ocean. I add some shadows. I add some light using hue saturation layer. More lights. I add the lights on the edges to make sure that the shark pop out a bit more. And I make the teeth a bit brighter. And I add some red color around the mouth. And I also add some blood. The blood which is coming from thieves. A bit more blood. More shadows. And we add some details, we add the blood on the thieves to make it a bit more scary.
And now I add a bit more bubbles to add a bit more realism to the scene. So I use blending modes to extract the bubbles and also blend them with our scene. Then I move back to our girl and I want to add some shadows to her and I also want to add some lights on the top of her to imitate the light which is coming from the top on this scene. So you can see that with a simple hue saturation layer and with high lightness value, I just brush the light on top of her. And I also add some uh, light to the shark. And I create a new solid color layer and I brush some kind of glowing effect in some places. I add a small shadow beneath the character. And then I import letters from original poster to see how it fits with our new poster. And you can see it fits uh, really, really well. And then I thought it's gonna be nice to create uh, this kind of reflection effect on the water from the letters. So I just duplicate the layer and I add a distortion effect on the new layer. And I change the blending mode to color burn and I change the opacity and I use transform tool to distort it a bit. And I also add a small shadow. I use some brush to brush it a few places. Then I change the blending mode of the letters to blend them a bit more with our scene. And I add a glowing edge effect to add a bit more edges. And for the final effect, the first step, I'm gonna go to Camerado filter and I'm gonna tweak some values. And like I said last time, and like every time, there are no magic values and just trust your eyes and see what works best for your artwork. And then I add a black border. I add some chromatic aberration and some vignette. And for the final effect, I want to give this poster a bit more depth. So I go to field blur and I put a bit of blur in some places. And that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. Please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. Tell me what would you like to see next. Maybe you have an idea for an old poster which you would like to see me doing a remake of it. And to the next time. Bye.